Do you ever do something and you're like, I cannot believe I just did that? Yeah, that was me about three weeks ago when I couldn't sleep and I found the coolest thing. <gasps> we are about to get into some mischief. That's all I have to say. Look at this. Look at this massive crayon. Isn't that awesome? We're gonna see if we can draw with this crayon today. Uh, it is a special edition Crayola crayon. The color is freshly squeezed and that was the only option they had left on the site. A couple months ago, they actually had purple too, but uh, yeah, I lost out on that. So I decided to get the final color before it sold out too. Let's just open it up now and see what we can make. Ooh, it smells very, very cranny. Wow. I feel like I'm holding a rocket ship. That's, that's all I have to compare this to. Dude, this thing is massive. Wow, how heavy is this? I just need to know. What, how, there's literally no weight on here? Get out, for real? We probably won't need this. This is gonna get hype, are you ready? Are you ready to color? I've got this pad of Strathmore mixed media paper. Let's just rip out a piece. Yeah, that's what I call satisfying. The first challenge, I think we're gonna see if we can just hold it with one hand and draw and like kind of like a normal, wait, if I were to hold this like a normal pencil. <laughs> okay, we have our paper here, our massive crayon. Man, this, this feels like I could seriously, oh wait, hold on. We're gonna play a little bit of ball, okay? Remember when I painted with wool? Well, another video's coming. However, we're gonna play baseball with wool. Ready? Batter up. <gasps> that was so sad. Let's try it again. Oh, yeah! Woo! Nobody came here for that. <laughs> let's, let's try to actually do this. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is just, straight up mischief for today's video. It's pretty weighty. Let's try to write a word. <laughs> this feels, this is ridiculous. We have a line. I have to hold it like this. I'm like, I'm too weak to do this, you know? Wait, I'll, I'll try one, kind of like a normal pencil, but it's really hard. Should I write hello or help? Cause man. Okay, I'm gonna do it this way now. Yeah. Big and mighty. My handwriting is not that great. Cause I'm writing with like a two pound almost crayon. Should we draw? I think we should draw something now. Not really sure what we can draw that is all orange, but uh, let's give it a go. I'm gonna draw something cute. I feel like I don't have a lot of control, but also if I don't move slightly fast, then, ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> so far we're doing good. We have a, a flower pot. It's my attempt at an eye. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the smile with my other hand. I gotta, I gotta rest. Oh, this is intimidating. Just kidding, just kidding. Do a little bit of shading, maybe. I still can't believe I found this thing. <laughs> this is wild, all right, wild. Let's try to do some more leaves. And I might use my opposite hand for real this time. Ooh, 
Wow, this is extra challenging. Now we're drawing with the opposite hand. You know, I actually play sports with my opposite hand usually. So I feel like this is kind of helpful. Put some elbow grease into this. Let me just do a little sideways. There we go. This is working out. I think we need another little leaf down here. Ooh, that one was scary. You wanna like work out in the new year? No prob, I got you. Also, feels like my wrist. <laughs> really, this is heavy. Let's add some fun little shapes and colors to this. Just, again, for funsies. I'm just using these little oil painting markers that I tried out recently. They're really fun. Okay, I'm gonna do some more cute little spots. Oh, I should do one more little spot with my weak wrist right now. You really do, you feel it like, uh, you feel it like right here more than anything. I kind of feel compelled to outline this whole plant with this color now. But I think I'm gonna not and just chill. I need to cool it. Anyway, yeah, this is our little crayon piece. This crayon is actually fairly fluorescent, which doesn't really help with contrast, it turns out. However, it was really fun to do. Maybe we'll try one more thing real quick, all right? I'll be real with you. This is quite the workout to draw with, so we're gonna do something kind of easy, probably. The piece that I just did actually made me a little excited about like patterns and abstracty things. So let's do something similar. <sighs> I just every now and then have to laugh at like what I'm actually doing right now. This is ridiculous, right? Ooh, let's do an eye. This should be a new sport, you know? Like drawing with super heavy art supplies. That would be kind of cool. Oh, we gotta do the lashes, okay. You wanna see something funny? Let me show you. Last video, we went from painting this <laughs> to today's video, we drew this. <laughs> But I will say this, all art is beautiful. As long as you're having fun, that's what matters. Okay, so back to this zentangly thing. To be honest, I find that like holding it in my armpit and then drawing gives me some more control, like. Life hacks. Just use your armpit and then you can draw with a giant crayon. It's a lot harder than it looks. All right, what should I draw over here? Um, what? Do you see that? That just came out of this crayon. I don't think this is true orange anymore. We're getting magenta streaks. That just came out of nowhere. I didn't even mix this with anything. Now we'll do some fun stuff with these markers to dress it up. Wow, this eye is not my best. I'm gonna try to redeem the situation. Now today's video is an actual example that you don't have to try your absolute hardest all the time. You can just experiment and have fun. And if you don't like the way it looks, if you don't like the way it turns out, 
that's okay. It doesn't make you a bad artist if you don't like the way your art looks. But if you're having fun in the process, then that's what matters. I'm always gonna tell you guys that because I just, uh, I just want to encourage you to make art and have a creative outlet. I just think it's so important and it gives me joy when you talk about the joy that you have when you create. What other color? I wanna do yellow again. I really like the way yellow looks with this crayon color. I don't know what that's supposed to be. A star, a flower. Uh, sure. We'll go with one of those. All right, that was my fun little abstract sort of piece. I think this one is my favorite. I just think it's really soft and cute. All right, I hope you enjoyed this fun, doodly, playful, giant crayon drawing video. Still cannot believe crayons this large even exist. Like, isn't this wild? Sometimes I really just enjoy these fun doodly videos where we're just chill, laid back, and making some art. With that being said, I hope you liked this video. If there's any other weird things like this that you want me to try out, let me know in the comments. Also, if you like the bigger pieces, something big is coming this week. The only hint that I'm giving you is wool, needle felting. Something you've been asking for, so, uh, yeah. All right, well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, and have a good day. Bye.